After nearly a year of backpacking around Asia, we found ourselves rolling into Ulaanbaatar, the capital city of Mongolia, a country synonymous with Chinggis Khan, wide open spaces, and nomadic life. Of the three million people that call Mongolia home, nearly half live in Ulaanbaatar, making it the cultural, financial, and industrial center of Mongolia. So it's no surprise that this city is the first stop for most foreign visitors. In our case, we entered the country from China after a 48-hour marathon of bus and train travel that started from Beijing. And I'm the only idiot out here in shorts because oh, it's, it's cold. Here, really unprepared. So as soon as we arrived, the only thing we could think about was just getting to the nearest hostel to sleep. So we did for two days. Once we got our strength up, we did some research and found that our hostel was offering a tour of the Gobi Desert, as well as other parts of central Mongolia. A journey that would take 16 days. We decided to go with six other travelers that we met a couple of days beforehand. But with only one day to prepare and zero winter clothes, we desperately needed to gear up. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Watch, watch your pockets. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're going to try to go get some gear on the cheap. Uh, instead of going to the department store, which is much more expensive. The only kicker is that we're going to the biggest black market, at least in Mongolia and maybe Asia, is what I've heard. Uh, all the locals keep telling us to watch our stuff, so uh, I decided to bring a camera anyway. Hopefully we don't get robbed. That's how you say it, apparently. Yikes, that's tough. <laughs> Nung Tok Zuk is a sprawling flea market where you can find wall clocks, linoleum flooring, and just about anything else. I want Mongolian boots. No. Can I have a... The market has gained a bad reputation among locals and foreigners alike for being a pickpocket's haven. So with such a rough exterior and a shady nickname like Black Market, we figured we'd be able to bargain our way into some amazing deal. But we soon discovered that this wasn't the case. Cozy, you like that? Mm -hmm. mm, looks pretty good. It's nice and fashionable. <laughs> Want to be fashionable in the Gobi? I like to be fashionable. Oh, look at oh, it. Oh, wow. It's nice. Yeah. You have a deal? 20? <laughs> 20? No. No? Uh, any lower than 30? Stuck no? on 30? <laughs> Stuck on 30. Um, all right. I don't think we even have that. No discount? All right. No discount. All right. Okay. Let's go. So tell me you didn't find a giant panda suit. You're literally going to go across Mongolia with that thing? Probably. Yeah, I don't know. That looks looks kind of meh. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. She got the panda suit. I love it. I'm we didn't have enough, but our friends helped us out. Yeah. 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 That's your okay. That, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I want which is good. Yeah. So the burning question: How is it? So far, so good. So far, so good. I'll, a, I'll ask you tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> so that's fat. Going down in height. Yeah. yeah. It adds to the flavor. Yeah. We made it out of the black market uh, with all of our gear. In fact, we gained gear. You got gear. You got gear. gear. Anyway, yeah, that wasn't so bad. But man, they did not like to bargain. Yeah, go figure. Oh, this is way rad. Oh, it's pimped out. That's cool. It's not even a modern vehicle. Oh my god. Old, Old Russian vehicle, baby. Oh, this is gonna take us all over Mongolia. Check it out inside now. All right. Bye. What do we got in the jeepney? Oh man, this thing Holy is shit, super look at this thing. Crazy. This thing's amazing. So what, day one? Day one. Of 17. Yep. For being such a massive city, Ulaanbaatar is shockingly easy to get away from. And after our first 30 minutes on the road, we were essentially out into the countryside. Our goal for day one was to head south from Ulaanbaatar towards the Gobi Desert, which meant a full day of driving. We'd also be meeting up with one of the two tour guides who'd be with us for the rest of the journey. 
What was that? Yeah. You have to pee? Yeah, I have to pee. You don't have to document Oh, that, yeah. Please. Well, but there's so many uh, spot hiding places. Look at this. <laughs> have fun with that. Go find a place to hide. They're peeing over there. So nobody go over there. That's off limits. It's the pee zone. How, how was it, ladies? Was it weird? It was weird, but was weird. we're a good team. Yeah, team. wow. Mongolian team pee. pee in front of van in the middle of nowhere. Man, I'm glad I'm a guy. Yeah. What were you asking for? That oh, same dish, dish that we had. Yeah. yeah. Really good. Ordering okay. lunchtime. Lunchtime. So do they have like, what do they have that has just like meat? Do they have like meat and eggs? What did you guys have? Uh, yeah, meat and eggs. Yeah. Okay, so it's the noodle dish or the non noodle dish. Looks like we've mostly got noodle dishes. Because Mongolian culture is based on livestock farming, the traditional diet consists of meat, flour, and dairy, with mutton being the meat of choice. Mongolian winters are extremely harsh, so a lot of animal fat is consumed during the winter and more dairy products during the summer. Bread? Fatty soup of bread. Wow. Bread, you guys? Okay, you had some bites. How is it? Yeah. It's really good. Really good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's like basic, but very good. What's your favorite? So did you enjoy your lunch? Yeah. Yeah. Too much fat. Too, too much fat for you? Yeah, same here. What about you? Well, I'm full. Full? Yeah. Full for today. Full. full. We all full? Full, full. All full? Alright. What a day. It was a long journey, but the scenery was stunning and the Mongolian countryside made quite the first impression on us. But this was only just the beginning, and we couldn't wait to see what the next 15 days would bring. Thank you. Mm. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Good. It's good. Very good. Okay. I'm gonna try it. Good for the next day. How do you move food or? Machine learning team. 